What's happening, free gang? We are coming to you live. But not really live. Not really live, no. So thanks for tuning in for another video. And today's video, we woke up with a bit of a realization that we've not really got any food. We've run out of food. We're used to having a good stockpile of food here, but we've run out of Yeah, we, we, well, we, we have some food, but... Yeah, we have some food, but not enough to last not long. Yeah, our cupboards are looking very empty. For those of you who watch all of our videos know that we have a huge pantry which is like a big food storage cupboard. Pride and joy of this house. Yeah, and those of you who have seen our kitchen and pantry tour video, you will know that it normally looks something like this. But unfortunately, right now, it's looking a bit more like this. It's just where we've been like traveling so much and we just haven't had a chance to do a big shop. We've... Yeah, and not just that, we pick bits out of there as we travel and we just don't replenish. And we've only done little mm. bits of shops here and there, but to get a fruit and veg and one other item. Yeah, we normally buy in bulk because we find it saves us money and it's just nice to have the stuff there when we need it. Yeah, we've got the space to use, yeah. haven't we? And people always ask us for money saving tips and we've been saying for ages that we would do a money saving video. <laughs> Literally ages. As well, you guys know we man manage our money really well because you saw our how did we go to Florida for six weeks video and that we got some really good feedback from that. Mm. People saying oh, I would never have thought I'd be able to go to, to Florida for a week, let alone six weeks, and you know, now they've actually gone and gone ahead and booked to go there because of that video, so yeah. We should have started up some sort of affiliation scheme, shouldn't we? We should have, <laughs> but yeah, so we manage our money well because it, it means that we can do more things in life, you know, so um, yeah, so what we'll do along the way today is we'll give you our best money saving tips. Exclusive to this channel. Won't get them anywhere else. Yeah, so we thought that we'd turn this shopping trip into a challenge and we decided to see how much food we can buy with £100. Considering we've got all of these special tips that can make that £100 go far, potentially. Yeah. So Jojo, have you got the money? Come on. Oh, here oh here right. There we go. Okay, you've got the money. You're going to look after the money for us? Yeah. Are we all ready to go then? Yeah, I'm ready. Go, let's go. So we're in the car and we've just arrived at Tesco's. This is the first of many places we're gonna stop. Yeah, because this is my top tip. If you can do this, some people can't do it, but we can do it. Luckily, we have lots of different supermarkets where we live, so we can shop around. So what we do is we go to all the different supermarkets and get all of their offers. Yeah, because some places are better for certain things than other places. Yeah. Some places have their basic or low cost range of things, basic staples, don't they? And other supermarkets don't. Yeah, Tesco's is really good because they've got a really good range, like basics range. Everyday ranges. But they do really good offers as well. So yeah. we get all the offers here and then we'll move on to the next place and get all their offers as well. It's about those combinations, people. Should we get inside? Yeah. Let's go. Another quick tip before we go in, get yourself your own shopping bags because you get charged when you're inside for using airbags. Epics.com, this bag is indestructible. You can hold so much in there, brilliant. We also do a small tote as well. Check them out. And it's got a good empowering message for everyone. Epics, nothing more to say. Are we going for this? We're gonna try this stuff. Yeah, let's try this so we can stick to the budget. What are you doing? <laughs> so this little device here has got a scanner. And what you can do, you can scan the barcodes of all the different things we get there. And it counts up your shopping on here, so we know how much we're spending. And at the end, you just take this to the till, and it figures out everything, and then you pay for it. So it helps you scan as you go. So it helps you stay in budget. Do you want to be in charge of the scanner? Yeah. So you're going to scan all the food, yeah? <laughs> go on then, give it to him. The Listen, this has been in my family for 20 generations. Now I pass it to you, my son. We'll scan the trolley. No scanning the trolley. Well, that's not buying the trolley. Good offer, 49p. See this word, save, it will become your best friend. Right, Jojo, can you scan this for me? Oh! What does it say? Wild Rocket, 49p. Oh, that's really cool! Of all the shopping challenges we've done at Tesco's and gone over budget and never used these. No, he's key, he's key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting an avocado? Yeah. Let's pick a better one. 
Right, put it in the trolley. Good. Pound for rats. Yeah, one pound aisles. They're a good tip to go to as well, aren't they? Same thing is, I think they're 89p in Lidl. Put them back. Probably best tip, take this woman with you. She knows a lot of prices. Yeah, that's the best tip. She's mean. Don't scan me. Is mummy, you're just checking mummy's not a burglar? Yeah, free fruits. Well, the amount of savings this woman gets, she might as well be a burglar. What fruit do you want? Free fruit, Jojo. Uh, grab it all. Oh, you want one of these? Oh, easy dealer. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab two of Don't scan it. Free items in the supermarket. That's a definite tip. <laughs> right, come down here. I've got a quick tip. Oh, secrets. All these potatoes, they come in different size packets, so you never know what's the best value. If you look on the tag, it says these ones are 80p per kilogram. So the price per weight. Yeah, and these ones are... 45p per kilogram. And you'll destroy their signage to show I'm everyone. Not, I'm not, I'm putting it back in there. Hmm. Yes. Oh no, it's not going in! <laughs> oh, there we go. There we Here's go. a tip. Just destroy their signs. You don't have to pay for it. But these ones are cheaper, so we're getting these ones. Right, so always look, not just the price, but the price per weight. Good stuff, my man. You're full of helpful information. I think I'm going to keep you. Oh, good. Are you scanning just random things? <laughs> we want barcodes only. <laughs> You're abusing your scanner duties. No, don't scan me. Stop scanning your mother. I've never seen two people so serious about onions in my life. <laughs> I'm being serious about onions. This huge pack, that's the best value. Really? 62 people a Can I take a picture of you with them and put it over there instead of those guys? <laughs> you scan it. Yeah, you're gonna oh. scan it. Jojo, can you stop scanning a basket and actually scan some food please, behind you? Jojo, these are on offer, two for 250. You're a pro at this. Do you want it on the floor? Do you want a job at Tesco's? Yeah. I'm just scanning her mommy tattoo so there's no germs on it. <laughs> scanning her tattoos for uh, germs no with germs. a Tesco scanner. No germs. No germs. Yeah. I don't does the scanner really do that? No, it just scans me. Stop scanning me. Another one pound aisle. We're giving it a go. Mummy, oh she's gone already. This is the tip. Always look on the ends of the aisles as well. There's stoppers on the ends of the aisles. Oh, I need some screen wash. Don't be swayed by the office. I've got a good idea, Daddy. Scan the camera. No, no, get away. You're damaging the free gang's eyes. <laughs> How are we doing so far, Jojo? What have we spent? 9.46. Not bad. Outro coconut milk, one pound. Jackpot. We're going for the whole box? Yeah, of course. My goodness, don't miss out that one. <laughs> <laughs> you get the whole box then, come on. We're going for this obsessive, get a whole box of Alpro milk. How are we going to scan these? Jojo, we need some hefty scanning. Six and a half hours later. Wow, that was rapid fire. Yeah, nice. Look how proud of himself he is. What now? Almonds are pound too. You can't reach it, oh, you can reach it. <laughs> They've got six left. Yeah, ignoring the ones that are up the top, of course. Go, Joe. That's it. Remove the milk from the scanner. <laughs> yeah, let go, let go. He, get, he gets a bit trigger happy, this boy, doesn't he? Stop it, I'm scanning me. If we end up paying for like multiple daddy, I'm not gonna be happy, because I cost a lot. Comment below, free gang, if I was an item that could be scanned, how much would I cost? <laughs> Don't you get involved. Hey. More than 2p. At least 7p, right? No, she discovered them all. Fire up. Damn it! Tickle you under the arm. You to get a Scan her, that's it, scan her. How many more are you getting? You just want the two more to complete the box, don't you? I think so, yeah. The world will not be complete until we do it. <laughs> oh, I'm a cold on you. This is so embarrassing. People are looking at me now. Stop scanning me, you. You idiot. Hey. Leave the free gang alone, they've done nothing. And you. Oh. What were you going for? 28p jam. They're all gone. Everyone likes good offers around here, don't they? Some of them are willing to go to the very, very top shelf. Bob just got really excited about this. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's just reduced salt marmite. I thought they'd brought out a different flavour. Oh, we sell reduced stuff. Should we get it all? No. <laughs> Take that as a yes. Jojo, it's vegan stuff. Should we have it for dinner? Oh, yeah. oh, 
Three, pizza, good. Mummy, we're getting some crazy savings here. This is like a saver-rama. Mummy, this is quite a filled trolley. We're not even done. This is one of a few supermarkets. Mm. Exciting stuff. All done for Tesco. Yep, we're going to the checkout now, but this is one of my top tips for saving money at supermarkets is join all the supermarket loyalty schemes. Yes. They reward your loyalty. You get about 1% back in points every time. So you get, for every like 100 pounds you spend, you get about a pound back. Not a lot, but it does add up. And they always send you these vouchers. Total spend vouchers. Yeah, so we're gonna, we've spent 70 pounds. We're gonna get seven pounds off. So it's like 10%. Yeah, we know mugs. We've thought this through. I'm good at math. She's good, she's amazing. <laughs> that means we'll have 37 pounds to spend. So elsewhere. we've gained seven pounds in this 100 pound shop. Yeah. My goodness. But that's the top tip. I had to keep it in there because it's top tip. And I want to be honest with you lot. Join their loyalty schemes. Yeah. If you want to stay loyal to us, do it. So that was nice and easy at Tesco's. That old scan thing's a dream. I know. I know, I know. it's the future. It's the future, that's right. I don't know if we're gonna get lost in these next places, aren't we? Where are we going? Iceland and Lidl. Iceland, no one ever pronounces it that way. It's normally like Iceland. Ice for a minute then, I was like, we're going on a holiday? I had a dream that I went to see the Northern Lights last night. I love it, you had a dream you went to see the Northern Lights and you manifested it by going to the supermarket <laughs> instead. Right I actually did. Iceland's a Lidl it is. One down, two to go. Next stop, Lidl's. No, next stop, Iceland. <laughs> but we do have a Lidl's trolley in Iceland. That's why I'm confused, yeah. Oh, best sellers. Best sellers? Oh, I've heard about these. I've heard good stuff about these. Mummy. Yeah? Let's go crazy. I'll get two packs. Semi crazy. I'm going to get loads of those. Oh, that's where the crazy is reserved for the fingers. They're two for 150. That's what we call like a bargain. The red and yellow combo signs are always a good thing to follow. Would you agree? Scan them then, Jojo. No, I don't have any. You don't have a scanner? Use your hand. Are you counting how many you're getting, Mummy? Yes, I am. Good, because we haven't got the scanner to save us this time. How much did we spend in there? 14.75, so we've got about 22.25 left. Ooh. I'm good at math as well. <laughs> That's right. And big shout out to the lady in Iceland on the checkout who said hello to us. One of the free guys and the fist fat. Lidl's, it's all about these bright orange signs. Offers, offers, offers. What have you got, mummy? Kiwis, 10p each. Only 10p? Yeah, look, check the sign. That's bargain-tastic, mummy. What's a saving? Save-tastic. Cheeky, mummy. Careful now. What's save-tastic off you if you've stumbled across now, mummy? 1.99, three kilograms. That's a bargain! Think you need to calm down, young man. Is this what it's come to, mummy? Without the scanner, we've gone to our calculators. Yes. Desperate times, desperate measures. Looking good, mummy. How much we got left? About a pound or two? 40p, something like that. This is a lot of shopping in total. So we are back with this immense food haul. My goodness. This is the biggest food haul we've ever done. Even to the point that we are struggling to fit in between food hall and We have to duck our heads down yeah. to, to get into the picture. And my back is really hurting against this radio. Why don't you sit on your bum then, Bob? That's down. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the, what, the biggest one we've ever done. Yeah, and it's a good one as well. We saved so much, didn't we? We saved so much money. I can't even tell you. Biggest tip is shop around get the offers. Yeah, because most of the items we got were either really good value, like a really good cheap price, or they were on offer and reduced from their regular price. Shall I talk through a few? Because I've got some more tips. Pick out the highlights, yeah. And then, uh, and then we'll tell you how much we spent. This is a really good other tip. Go for the own brands, supermarket own brands. Yeah. As you guys well know, we eat a lot of porridge and we've tried all different ones, haven't we? Yeah. And I can never taste the difference between the different ones. They're good quality. These, are, these are 75p. The next ones up are like one pound, one pound, pound yeah, yeah, one pound fifty or something. So there you go. For a kilogram, right? Four bags, three pounds. Yeah. Same with these uh, pastas. You get so many different kinds of pasta, and I never know any difference. Twenty p a pack. Yeah. So we've got ten packs. Twenty p a pack. But the penne ones are 30 p but they're the same weight. Yeah, and it's also just different shapes. It doesn't matter what shape it is, it gets eaten the same as anything else. Doesn't yeah, it? so we just think the cheapest way to get pasta is the spaghetti type of pasta. While we're on the subject of pasta, except for this, we found this deal. That was $1.99 in Lidl's. In Lidl's, yeah. Yeah, for... yeah Lidl's is always cheap. 
Lindell's is a bargain to buy the whole place. I should just call it bargain place instead. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of grapes, JJ. He's already finished the fruit pot. Yeah, fruit pot's gone. It no. never makes a video, does it? It never makes a video. No. Sometimes I don't even make it home. So anyway, yeah, pasta. 300 grams. For £1.99. Can I mention these barbecue mushroom sourdough pizzas? These ones are normally £4. Yeah. So they were half price because they're reduced to clear. Maybe they're yeah. coming near to their expiration date or something. Yes, yeah, so you need to basically eat them today. Which we they're, are going to. Yes, if you're going to eat the stuff today, freeze it. You can freeze these as well. Yeah. Yeah, so it's worth going and having a look to see what stuff they have reduced. We buy a lot of reduced things, but they seem always seem fresh. What else? Oh, yeah, this is a, a good tip. So this is meat free mint, which tastes exactly the same as beef if not better if not better it's got a lot of flavor we use it for bolognese chili con carne yeah. shepherd's pie so even if you're not vegan or you're not vegetarian it you save a lot of money buying this because we got three packs for four pounds and there's a lot of weight 454 grams yeah, yeah in one so it's thing. good to spot those ones where they have if you buy three for four pounds it's better value especially stuff you can freeze oh jojo's going where are you going you're going to play with your lego okay. fruit pop's gone he doesn't care <laughs> right <laughs> he just went to get a lego thing he made yeah so again if you're not even if you're not vegan or vegetarian these are amazing value so tesco's ones uh sainsbury's do them Most healthier things. option as well yeah it's a lot healthier it's not no cholesterol and there's hardly any fat in these as well so yeah you still you, feel happy tasting if you want to be healthy and have more money buy this yeah yeah oh these are really good frozen peas frozen sweet corn they were like 79p each or something and we got the noble burgers from iceland which actually had was it their, their best seller at the moment yeah best yeah. seller we've heard lots about these so we are very interested in them in fact the lovely lady we spoke to on the checkout said that they've had them and they're really nice as well so mm. thanks mm. for the recommendation you validated our choice um what else oh the milks you saw us buy those i think they were like one pound each so when well. when our pro milk is on one pound mm. i always stock up because otherwise you have to pay like one pound sixty for them yeah. and i don't like paying one pound sixty for them so yeah stock up when things are on offer get them lots of tips going on yeah. here we also got a lot of fruits and veg. We saved most of the buying of the fruits and veg to Lidl's because normally their fruits and veg is better priced, isn't it? So we yeah. held off buying it at Tesco's or Yeah, and... well we did get a few bits from Tesco's. The easy peelers, they were on offer two for 2 Yeah, cucumbers are always cheap in Lidl's. Yeah. Oh, the bread, 39p in Tesco's. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, you just gotta be quite spontaneous and look out for things which yeah. are on offer. Oh, yes, and the kids' noodles. I got them their noodles. You know, our big kids, Sam and Jamie, they love these instant noodles. They're like 20p a pack. And JoJo's gone again. Ah, oh, Lidl's have got a really good range of soy products now. As yeah. Well, meat free products. We had so. some of the burgers the other day, but now we found these strips, didn't we? Yeah. Soy strips. Ah, oh, these, these, these. These are gold. <laughs> £1.50 for two boxes. Veggie fingers. When we first stopped eating animals, the thing that I really missed was fish fingers. Breaded finger food. Yeah, so these have kind of like been a replacement and I actually really prefer them now. Bird's eye as well. Bird's eye, and they like, they're just so sweet and crispy and crunchy. Mm. And I love them so much. Yeah, that's a perfect example as well of shopping around because we looked at Tesco's ones, mm. their veggie fingers, which is as it's their own brand, you would think it'd be cheaper than Bird's eye, mm. but it actually wasn't. Because this, these were on offer and we knew they were on offer in Iceland, it was a lot cheaper to get it. Yeah, they So were. when you know the different offers in the different places is really right. worth shopping going between. Yeah, we've got burgers, Linda McCartney burgers, pound. Linda McCartney sausages were a pound in Tesco's. Yeah, pound in Tesco. Which so doesn't happen yeah, often. we'll get this video out quick and any of these offers that you want, they'll probably still be on offer when you go. Tell them we sent you. Iceland are really good for offers as well. Like we got uh, frozen berries. We eat a lot of frozen berries with our porridge. They were one pound fifty for like frozen raspberries. I'm a bit annoyed because <laughs> we were gonna have a Mexican night. Look what's happened. I hope the food in there is okay. It probably is. We're, yeah, we want to do like a Mexican mukbang video. Comment below if you would like to see that. And if you like Mexican food too, if so, what is your favourite stuff? But look what happened on the way home. Yeah, mm. too much food, crush. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be okay in there. Yeah. But yeah, Tesco to do a really, really cheap Mexican food range. I just grabbed that because it was so cheap. It was like less than two pounds. We didn't get chips, but we got potato lattices. I want to try those tonight. Yeah, they, the look, pizzas. they looked really nice. Oh, we did get chips. I'm lying. Yeah, we got these southern fried chips. I'm lying. No, we got Mummy was we... lying. I'm sorry, Frigo. Oh, dare I. And we got potato waffles as well. Mummy. 
What are you doing here? I'm so sorry. We're gonna have an awesome dinner. Yeah. Yeah, we are, Jojo. And we got a couple of bottles of this frog squattle. Frog squattle. Frog squattle. I will not have this said wrong again. Frog squattle. Frog squattle? Yes! Here we go! Frog scuttle. Yeah, that's what we call fizzy water. They're only 17p, so yeah. you can't moan at that. But I think we did very, very well. What were the savings overall, Mummy? See how much we spent. It doesn't say the savings, but at Tesco, we spent exactly 63 pounds and three pence. And then in Iceland, 14.75, which makes it 77.78. And, and 23 22 and that's 101 pounds exactly 101 pounds we did pretty good but i mean look how much we got i'll tell you what if we got if we went one pound over budget that i'll donate one of the coconut milks to our neighbor <laughs> <laughs> Coming to you soon. But no, I think we did amazing. This is, I can't believe how much we got. Mummy, you are a serious force to be reckoned with. Yeah, please comment below if my tips have helped you. Yeah, and if you come in, implement them into your own lives, wherever you are in the world, whatever supermarket you have around you, whatever what you do to shopping, maybe refer them to the people in your household that do the shopping. Get them to watch this video. That's two views for us then. If not, guys, go online and just Google Katie from Family Freedom. See if you can buy one. There's probably a duplicate out there somewhere who knows all about the shop in town. There's only one in a million for this one. Yeah, just figure out how to clone me. So that is it for our haul, guys. We'd love to hear your comments below on what you think about this haul. Tell us about some of the hauls you get and what you would spend £100 on if you went shopping. We'd love to hear your comments, so leave them below. And, and share your money-saving tips with us. See if, yes. there's, if there's any money-saving tips that we don't know, share them with us. Yes, we're all in this game together. But before we finish this video just a few shout outs for some of you lovely free gang who have requested them so shout outs to the following people Ali Hogan Miri Vlogs who's just finished the GCSEs I hope they all went well that you're feeling good about them Patricia Larkin Amira Josephs Megan Hitchman Chloe Glover Millie and Alfie that's from your mother Kayla Hill who tells us that you guys always watch our videos as a family which is really cool to hear shout out to Olivia Kerr who's had their 13th birthday on the 23rd of August that's today Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday! Yeah. The video won't go out till tomorrow. Okay, that was yesterday. Happy birthday, as long as you're watching it when it got uploaded. A lot of shout out goes to Lamara, whose birthday is coming up. And that is from your mother, Zara Glushi. I hope you have a great birthday and get everything that you want. And if any of you guys ever want to shout out, just leave it in the comments below. We'll try and get it done in an upcoming video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing the amazing hauls that we do and how much we can get for a hundred pounds or why Katie ends up with a box on our head inside a supermarket then we would love it if you subscribed but if you're already subscribed hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on when we do upload you don't want to miss out that's the thing you will miss out if you don't hit that bell and we will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out yeah.